Hey everyone, my name is Pupsker, and today in Warframe, we're going to talk about the new Warframe companion mods that they added to the game on the Abyss of Dageth update. With these mods, your companions should be so much stronger and be able to do better, unique attacks, and all things considered, these mods are pretty easy to get. You can quite simply get a handful of each of the mods on the three first open worlds, that's right. You can acquire one on Fortuna, or I should say one set of like four or five on Fortuna from one of the conservation vendors, I should say the conservation vendor. You can go to Cetus to acquire them from the conservation vendor, and finally you can go to Deimos on the Necrolisk to acquire it from the conservation vendor. First and foremost, we will go to Cetus and check it out, and we'll ch see if all the mods are good, if they're bad, if you like them. So, as always, if you like the video, like, subscribe, and check out all the other videos. Use Epic Games Creator Code Pupsker, all links down in the description below. Okay, so if you just fast travel over to Master Tisani, you should be able to acquire and buy all of the companion mods. And these are the companion mods, as you can see here. We have Restorative Bond, Health Orbs Restore 60 more health and reduce companion recovery by 3 seconds. Not mad, get some HP, reduce recovery, I don't think I'd use it though. Manifold Bond for Robotic, Companion Precept mods apply status effects from companion weapons. Killing enemies with 3 or more unique status effects reduce companion ability cooldown by 3 seconds. Cool, but I don't think I'm going to use it off the top of my head on anyone. Covert Bond. Finisher and Mercy Kills grants your companion 10 seconds of stealth that attacks will not disrupt. Okay, okay, that's actually pretty cool, but... Oh, actually it says max 60 seconds, so does that mean you can have up to 60 seconds of stealth companion? No, I actually think that one's really cool. You can have a lot of stealth assassination companions, so this one might be OP and might make your companion invincible if you do a lot of finisher and mercy kill, so hey, maybe. After your companion uses abilities with cooldowns five times, you may cast an Warframe ability without expending energy. That is actually just nice, and if you don't have arcane... Oh god, is it arcane energize? Yeah, for energy, that actually might be really useful if you like it, so might not be a bad idea. And last but not least in Cetus, Tandem Bond. Companion melee hits increase your combo by 6. Heavy attacks increase companion melee damage by 30%, multiplied by your combo multiplier for 30 seconds. So this is obviously OP in a melee centered build with your beast, because it's a beast mod, so. I'd say all of these, well half of them actually are pretty good overall to make strong companion builds, but either way, grab them all, you're gonna want them. And certain ones can only be used on certain companions, right? Because this is only Beast, so you can't apply them on everyone. But that is Cetus Master Tisoni. You can just always fast travel over to Master Tisoni, and that is how you get the Cetus open world uh, companion mod. So let's jump on over to Fortuna and talk to the vendor there. Okay, now we're just gonna head on over to Fortuna on Venus and talk to the general conservation master here. I think it might be the like MOA robotics master, but we'll see. Okay, once you get down to Fortuna, you're gonna want to fast travel down on over to the business, aka fast travel to purchase fishing slash conservation gear. I thought it would be the MOAs, but if you go to the MOA menu, you can see, yeah, there's there's nothing new there. It is the conservation secondary, you know, business bro. Even though there's like kind of two, because yeah, MOAs are companions. Either way, so hide own, and we can see reinforced bond. Okay, starting off here. If the companion exceeds 1200 max shields or over shields, then your fire rate is increased 60%. Reloading restores 150 overshield to your companion. Okay, this seems really good. I think you can use for Protea. I think her first ability, the shield orbs, work on companions, so maybe you can use that to make this OP and just the uh, Hildren and stuff like that. I don't know, but 
yeah, use it if you want to do a build around that. Aerial Bond, ooh. Airborne kills, decreased companion recovery timer by 3 seconds, and 9 seconds for headshot kills, okay? Companion creates a field of cold that increases up to 35% and 10 meter radius while Warframe is airborne, lasting for 3 seconds after returning to the ground. Yeah, I personally don't like this one too much, but you can do stuff with it. I just don't care for it. Next one, Mon... oh wait, Momentous Bond. Killing Eximus enemies grants 120% bonus of a random elemental damage to your companion for 30 seconds, and reduce companion recovery by 18 seconds. That one actually seems pretty decent, because then your companion can just apply status around, and you can do some more damage if you're using condition overload type stuff. So I'd say this one's actually pretty nice overall, and can be used on a wide variety of any companion, really. Next, we have Tenacious Bond. Headshot kills reduce companion recovery timer by 3 seconds. If the companion's critical chance is over 50%, then you gain 1.2x final critical damage multiplier. Oh, not bad, not bad. If you like it, go for it. If not, yeah, it's up to you. Last, Astral Bond. Damage dealt by Operator or Drifter grants 120% void damage to your companion's attacks for 10 seconds. Companion void damage adds 30% amp and energy efficiency to Operator or Drifter for 5 seconds. Okay, like, cool, I don't care about this personally too much, but cool, useful nonetheless. If you want to build around it, use it, or you like it for any reason. So, those mods, hey, not too bad. And now we have the final set of mods to go over. And those should be on the Necrolisk on Demo. So, let's go over and take a look. So now we head on over to Deimos over here, onto the, well, it's, for me it's Knights of Nabris, but Necrolisk on Deimos to talk to the conservation person. I think it's like daughter. No, it's son actually. So once you travel on down to sun, browse wares, hide own, you can see four new mods. Vicious Bond, Seismic Bond, Contagious Bond, and Duplex Bond. Vicious Bond here, companion melee attacks strip 15% of enemy armor, right? Really good. Enemies recently damaged by abilities spread the effect to other enemies in a 9 meter radius. I feel like this is going to be a new mod a lot of people are going to want on most of their companions if they don't want to run any sort of armor stripping warframes, abilities, etc. So this one seems just really good overall. Next you have Seismic Bond. While a channeled ability is active, companion melee attacks create a 4 meter shockwave for 30% of their melee attack damage. Damage dealt by your companion increases your ability efficiency by 3% for 12 seconds with a maximum of 12 uh, 10 stacks. Good on some uh, Warframes, bad on others. Really depends if you're running, obviously, a channeled ability or not. Channeled, good. If not, then you don't want it. Contagious Bond. When your companion kills an enemy afflicted with a status effect, 50% of the status effect spreads to other enemies within 9 meters. This one, also, overall, just good because you can throw it on anyone and just spread status damage, right? It's better on high damage status builds, but obviously it can be used anywhere pretty decently, I would say. So I'd say I like that one overall. Last but not least, Duplex Bond. Companion will clone itself each time you expend 100 energy up to 3 clones. Clones live 30 seconds and cannot use abilities. Their kills have a 50% chance of dropping energy orbs. This one also can be used on anyone and is very good. All you need to do is spam out abilities here and there and then you get a bunch of companion clones and they kind of work as targets and they also attack enemies so overall very good as well. These are I'd say some of the best ones and I can only get a couple of them. No! I cannot believe it but either way I'll grab them for now and then come back another time to grab the rest. So let me know what you think about all of the new Abyss of Dagath companion mods and and which ones you plan to make builds around, grab, etc, so forth. I have almost all of them at least, and I can at least technically grab all of them today, just running some mother bounties uh, and handing in the tokens, so should go well. Thank you all for watching, subbing, liking, and checking out all the social medias using Epic Games creator code Pupsker. All of that always helps at the end of the day a ton, so thank you, and I will see you next time. Cheers.